So, when the Sacrifice trailer for Warframe came out, and we saw Excalibur Umbra, I lost my mind, and I immediately started speculating. And if my speculations are correct, Excalibur Umbra could be twice or three times as good as any Prime Warframe we've ever seen in Warframe. All right, hey guys, what's up? It's uh, StrifeXD, and today we're gonna be talking about Excalibur Umbra, like I said in the intro. So before I start the video, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe, comment, like, turn the notification bell on, you know the drill, um, because this is my first video, and I would really appreciate it if you guys did that, and I wanna know if you like my content. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So, we first saw Excalibur Umbra when China got a almost a founder's pack sort of deal when Warframe was released in China. Now DE said that they weren't going to release Excalibur Prime again and they've you know stood stood to the word and they released an Excalibur Umbra for China. Now when global players saw this they flipped out and they were like Oh, why can't we have smooth, silky robes with our Excalibur and stuff? Me being one of them. And, uh, now we finally got what we want at Tenno Live a few weeks ago. So, Excalibur Umbra is almost, uh, a better Prime Warframe. Now, I say that hesitantly because DE has said that they wanted Umbra to be new and have- and be different and be better than the Primes and the original Warframes. Um, and so here's what I think about the Umbra Warframes. So again, before I go into this, I'm not a pro at Warframe lore, so please bear with me. I'm not, you know, this isn't 100% fact, but I do heavily think that this is how DE is going to add it. So yeah, again, just take all this with a grain of salt. Um, and yeah, if you have theories, I'd like to hear them in the comments below, so please enjoy. So, Umbra Warframes are what seem to be like a better Prime Warframe. And at uh, Tenno Live, we saw the Umbra trailer, and in the art panel, we saw Bayless, the execution. Now, what I think is, because they definitely said that this was going to be behind a quest, and that this quest was going to be more Warframe oriented, I think we're gonna start at the roots. I think that we're going to have a quest with Bayless and or Margulis, and I think something's gonna happen there, and we're gonna be able to get our Umbra Warframes. The, the reason I'm saying this again is they showed off Bayless's art, and I don't think they would've showed off Bayless if they weren't going to use him. Plus, with the, um, again, with the, the War Within and the Chains of Harrow and all the recent quests, I won't go into them because spoilers, but, you know, Mar Margulis is starting to play a, a very big role honestly has always played a big role in the Warframe lore and in what we are today. Um, now there is an off chance that it isn't Bayless or Margulis and that um, these Umbra Warframes are like primes but with augmented sentient bodies or maybe they're enhanced by Helminth or something like that. Personally, I think it's going to be with Bayless and Margulis, but again, the prob- the, you know, it could be something different, but I don't think it is. So let's get into the main reason I want to make this video, and that is the possibilities of Umbra Warframes and their abilities or passives or, or something like that, right? At 10 Alive, uh, DE said that they wanted to make the Operator and the Warframes almost like a tag team group. You know, maybe like weakening uh, this mob and finishing them with the Operator, or maybe like only being able to attack this mob with the Operator and then having to swap back to your Warframe to finish or like to stun them or CC them, something like that. They wanted this tag team swap oriented gameplay just in Warframe. I think Umbra Warframes are going to be that. Um, I think that they are going to be connected with the focus system. I think if they aren't, they're going to have their own passive leveling and research system for new passives and for augmentations for their abilities. What I mean by this is, for example, let's say if it is uh, connected to our focus on our Warframes, 
Um, say you're running Xeneric. Maybe you have, maybe you've unlocked something for your Umbra Warframe that every kill with Slash Dash restores 10 to 15 energy. Or maybe uh, you're playing uh, Naramon and when you radio blind, you and your allies go invisible so that when the enemies become not blind, they don't see you. Just little stuff like that. I think that that's going to be the direction that DE wants to take Umbras. I also think that um, they're going to be able to be upgraded, again, like the focus system, maybe, with the new resources of Planes of Eidolon. Um, I do think they are going to be heavily connected with Planes of Eidolon because, you know, they're both supposed to come out in 2017, and I would think that Warframe would want Umbra to be connected with their new open world landscape. Again, I could be wrong, but I think that's definitely where they're trying to go with this. Uh, again, with the tag team, with the tag team mindset, I think Umbra Warframes are going to be connected to our Tenno, or connected to our operators, a lot more than our normal Warframes are. And I'm saying this because if it is quest related, and it is lore related, and almost everything like every quest since the second dream has had something to do with the tenno or the operators or our warframes i think they're definitely going to continue that you know motif and they're going to continue the the bond between our warframes and our operators and they're going to make warframes or umbra warframes to be more specific uh definitely have more synergy with our operators and probably have special abilities with our operators and or maybe even instead of like falling down or becoming or going into stasis almost when we have our operators out maybe they run around like a specter and we can fight alongside our own warframes again i'm not sure i'm just throwing ideas out right now um i definitely think that the the umbra warframes and their abilities and the operators and their abilities will run off of the same powers like i don't mean i don't mean uh excaliburs one two three and four i don't think i still think they're gonna use energy but i think that hidden abilities or like special new void related abilities will run off of the same energy as the tenno and i think we're gonna be able to upgrade and have our own interface for those abilities so now that i've uh, told you <laughs> Uh, what I think of, of the Umbra Warframes. Here's what I think we're gonna have to do to get them. So I think we're definitely going to have to do something at nighttime in Plains of Eidolon. Uh, maybe fight new sentients, get resources, new bosses. I definitely think DE is going to try to push this content on us for Umbra. I also think that we're gonna have to be doing, you know, the standard Second Dream, War Within, maybe Chains of Harrow, maybe Titania Quest to unlock this quest, just so we can have the backstory kind of, the backing of what this is going to be. And I think they're definitely gonna, you know, put 19 in there somewhere. <laughs> There's 19, there's 19 everywhere. It's the, uh, you know, the bane of my existence, but DE loves it, so they're definitely gonna do that. And I think it's gonna be mastery rank locked, so that, you know, players who, I, I don't wanna sound like jerk, but who aren't ready, or who should be getting other Warframes and should be getting other Primes before Umbra, I think it's gonna be mastery rank locked. So if the Umbra Warframes are super powerful, and if, you know, you can augment them with your focus and with the void, or even with helmets, right? I definitely think they're gonna be mastery ranked locked so that newer players can't get, you know, the best of the best right away. And lastly, I, they're obviously gonna be quest locked uh, because if you, if you just went and got Umbra Warframes without even knowing what they did, what they were, and you couldn't use their abilities because you hadn't done the second dream of the War Within, I, I, you know, they're pretty much pointless. I guess they're probably, their stats are probably a lot better than the default Warframes, but still, it's pretty useless. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my theories and speculations. Again, only take this with a grain of salt. This is what I think the number of Warframes are going to be about. I think, you know, this is what I think they're gonna be able to do they're gonna be you know what you need to get them and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and again like like the video subscribe if you enjoyed use the uh bell icon 
if you want to see more content from me. And yeah, leave a comment if you have your own theory or if you enjoyed. So stay tuned, everybody, and thanks for watching.